Welcome to your Missouri Valley Football Conference extra point for week two as non-conference play continues. I'm Kelly Burke and the Valley went five and four in week one action with three of those losses though coming to FBS teams. This week kicks off the challenge series in the Missouri Valley and Big Sky Conferences aimed at bringing attention to current and future non-conference matchups between two of the premier conferences in the FCS. Five of nine Challenge Series games are in action this weekend, highlighted by a matchup of top six ranked teams in North Dakota State and Eastern Washington. Missouri State, who showed off some offensive firepower in an opening week loss to Mizzou, heads to future league member and 11th ranked North Dakota. Stifling defense continues to be a theme for Valley squads. Illinois State shut out Butler and now leads the FCS in total defense. The Redbirds D was dominant, allowing only three first downs and 41 yards of total offense in their win. Four league teams, including the Redbirds, allowed zero or negative rushing yards in week one, led by North Dakota State, who held Mississippi Valley State to minus 31 yards on 27 carries, tops in the FCS. ISU, the Bison, and South Dakota rank in the FCS top 10 in total defense. In Brookings, South Dakota State rolled to a 51-13 win over Duquesne in their Thursday opener, and senior standout and All-American wide receiver Jake Winicky paved the way. Number 19 tied a Missouri Valley football game record with four touchdowns and broke former Jackrabbit Josh Davis's record mark of 225 career receptions. Winicky now has 229 career receptions and ranks sixth in FCS career receiving yards and seventh in FCS career touchdown receptions. He owns the Valley record for career touchdowns at 47. And nine of 10 Valley teams are in action in week two, including SIU who makes their season debut. Five of those games available on ESPN3. And for all your latest Valley scores and news anytime, head to www.valleyfootball.org.